What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial on Live2D. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make your character breathe and just seem like it's uh, alive. So first, I'm going to create a new rotation deformer um, since I haven't done that in any of my previous tutorials. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to basically make a neck rotation deformer. So I'm going to click on neck, um, go down here, and I'm going to click create deformer and instead of curved surface being selected make sure rotation is selected um, I'm going to make the associated deformer be just blank so it's not attached to anything at all and as you see we uh, have our rotation deformer created and I'm just going to kind of center this on the neck since it's supposed to be the neck rotation deformer and now I gotta make it the parent of um, all these parts that are attached to the face. Because what this is gonna do is basically control the rotation of the face and I could also use it to move all the parts that it's attached to. So um, how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go to this list right here and I'm gonna click on face and just highlight everything down. So I'm gonna go to face through the hair and then I'm going to go over to this next window to the deformer drop down menu. And I'm going to select um, neck unselected textures rotation. And then when I just kind of click out of the box and everything, you'll see that all these parts are now, um, they all now have the rotation deformer as the parent. Now I've got to set this as well there we go so as you can see when I select my rotation deformer everything that's connected to the face should rotate with this deformer now which is good <laughs> why I'm doing this um, I'll show you here in a second so I'm gonna make the character seem like it's breathing so what I'm going to do is create keyframes in the breathing section here. Um, I'm going to create a keyframes for the rotation transformer. Since I already have it selected, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll click on breathe and I'll add two keys here. I'm going to add just two keys instead of three because um, three is just kind of unnecessary and two is just easier to work with. So I don't have to set it twice and then I'm also gonna create keyframes for the body deformer um, if you haven't made one yet go ahead and make one for the body um, just it doesn't matter it really matter just anything that's a part of the body you should have a deformer for uh, in order for this to work and I'm sure you probably know how to do that by now so um, so anyway Go ahead and highlight your deformer if you have it built already. And I'm going to click on breathe again and then add two keys um, to have that set. So once you have your keyframe set, um, you'll see that the all the way to the left, it's uh, on zero. And then all the way to the right, the value is one. So from the left, it, as soon as I start turning to the right is what I'm going to make the characters seem like they're taking air in. So I'm going to kind of expand the chest area of the character so it seems like, you know, their lungs are filling up with air. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the right dot here. And I'm just going to kind of make the breathing movements a little bit subtle so it doesn't seem like unrealistic or anything. And so I'm just going to expand the chest area using the main quadrant dot, dots on the deformer. And I'm just going to kind of make the stomach move a tiny bit. And I can, I'm just going to test this real quick. So I don't know if you could really tell, but um, just this is pretty much basically how I just kind of make the body movement go. Just the ch upper chest area I have expanded and then um, if you have your character to the side I usually make the stomach 
kind of move outward a little bit. Um, but for now, I'm going to just kind of let that be. And I'm going to go to the rotation keyframes that we made earlier as well. So this is why I made this rotation deformer. Um, so on the right dot, when she's going to have, um, you know, her breath taken in, I'm going to move the head up a little bit, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to just use the arrow keys on my keyboard, just so it's like ever so slightly moving. And we'll see how that kind of looks like. I just moved it up a tiny bit. There you go. I think that's fine. It might be a little too much, but you can see how the head kind of moves up a little bit. And it's it's not something that you have to do. I'm, this is all just uh, kind of showing you how I do it, but um, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of, you know, what you can do. So yeah, um, next I'm gonna open Live 2D Viewer and I'm gonna open our character in there. And uh, let's just kind of see how um, the breathing animation turns out on its own. So in order for me to open up my Live 2D uh, model into Live 2D Viewer, I have to first export it. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Export.moc File. And I'm just going to keep these settings the same and hit OK. And I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And it's just showing me where it's at. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this. And as you can see, I got my Live 2D Viewer opened already and ready. So I'm just going to drag the .moc file into this window. And as you can see, my drawing already pulled up. So um, from here, I could go to Animation. And as you can see, it's got a bunch of checkmarked uh, things already. I could check Auto Eye Blink. And then when I click on this window, um, it'll kind of load up the model and then it'll start blinking on its own like you probably just saw right there. So I'm going to go to animation. I'm also going to activate the breathing part of it. So as you can see, she now is just going through the motions of breathing. Um, I guess it doesn't really show here on this window, but um, I could kind of drag my mouse around and then she'll just kind of look around. Um, I don't know what else there is to do. I guess she just keeps her eye movement the same for the most part. But um, yeah, that's kind of how you could um, kind of bring your drawing to life right there. And, you know, without having to move these little dots around all the time. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope that kind of helps clear things up a little bit if anybody was confused on that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.